of weaponized devices for the 911 attack. And we have Michelle Obama, who is an intellectual property lawyer with uh, Sidley Austin that employed um, Bernadine Dawn, you know, the three finger Dawn salute um, uh, as a coach or a mentor for little Barry uh, from the period, I think, 19... 1989, I think, to 1991, and then, of course, through Valerie Jarrett. She continued to control Little Barry, even all the way through to the Oval Office. Okay, so hang, you've got hang, two... wait, hang on. you got two Little Berries, but I said that I would reward people with a verbal mackerel for anybody who says, which corporation builds Boeing uninterruptible auto parts? Before I throw them a mackerel, David, do you know who builds them? Uh, General Electric, right? Yep. Agent 66 knew. Gobsmack knew. Jack, Mel Jack Mack said Honeywell. And uh, that's right, because it's called the Boeing Honeywell Uninterruptible Autopilot. Uh, so Honeywell participates. GE delivers it. Boeing installs it. Agent T and Slacker got it. Eagle H got it. David R got it. Uh, Karen S got it. I think that's all the mackerels I need. Uh, anyway, go ahead, uh, David, and uh, do you remember where you were at? Yeah, sure. Good. Over to you. Yeah, so we have to ask ourselves, how come Christine Marcy exercises such control over her prospective enemies that they keep their mouths shut? Well, uh, our, this is the fourth or fifth paragraph in today's post. AD research suggests that in 1994, Serco shareholders positioned Marcy currently an ICE Foundation Board Director, as Director of the U.S. Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System, JPATS equals Con Air, so she could transfer blackmailers, victims, and actors to join 8A snuff film crews in elite hotels. Now, if you work for a company like Boeing or Northrop Grumman or Raytheon or um, Lockheed Martin, for example, four of the key mentor companies on the Federal Bridge Certification Authority set up by Hillary Clinton, your directors, they fly around the world trying to put deals together. They check into the very best hotels. And these are inevitably targets for someone like Christine Marcy because she knows once they're in those hotels and there's a decent distance between them and their spouses and their children, they become very attractive targets for a sexual honeypot. Well, it's just really a matter of finding out what turns them on. One of the things that can turn on uh, a lonely executive in a five-star hotel 10,000 miles away from his wife or her husband is uh, the films that are piped through pay-per-view. And from distant memory, I seem to remember when I was at a Marriott hotel in in Texas, in Houston, um, there was a range of uh, films that I could have bought. I didn't buy anyone because I've got other things to do. But, you know, it had the range of documentary, da 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 And then there was XX, the implication being that this was a, a, a movie that was sexually orientated. Now, it would be very simple when someone pays with their credit card, and I know that they try to anonymize the purchases so that the guest does not, um, when the wife or the husband looks at the credit card purchases, doesn't recognize it as downloading a dirty movie. But uh, the point is the people who put that transaction together or the software, they can monitor it, and they now have a record of the credit card, the name, the date, the time, and the place, and quite possibly a film <clears throat> of the individual watching the movie in his or her uh, presidential suite, whatever they do, to the accompaniment of what they see on the film. So your sister would have created a an opportunity for these people, whether they knew it or not, when they download or watch an XX film, to substitute a real-life live broadcast snuff film possibly involving children. Now that, of course, no doubt for decent human beings, that's not what they dialed up on pay-per-view, but that's what they've got. And it's now recorded by someone, in fact, I would say it was Field Sister principally, that uh, they've been watching um, live snuff films. 
what your sister needed, of course, back then, in the early 90s, or the mid 90s, was a place where she could produce or have these snuff films produced with children outside the reach of the investigative arm of the FBI and um, the analysis of a possible RICO enterprise. So it seems like, Phil, this is speculation, that your sister approached uh, the present Governor General, David Johnson of Canada, and asked him if he could find a site for her people with ICE and the uh, Circo mentors where they could develop some live uh, broadcast snuff film facility that could be broadcast into these elite hotels. And lo and behold, David Johnson, it seems, came up with a pig farm in British Columbia owned by the Clinton brothers, Dave and Willie Picton, and their sister, Linda Picton. And interestingly, Phil, the pig farm appears to have been the subject of a leverage lease or mortgage where the content, what was produced at the pig farm, was owned by the people who put up the money to upgrade the farm with a million dollar barn which could seat and feed 500 people uh, to a Friday night rave where 1,700 people would be flown in from across North America, presumably including people flown in by your sister on Conair. So they check into the various hotels at Port Coquitlam and they could either stay in their room and watch the snuff film or go down to the pig farm and participate in the snuff. So it's pretty sordid. And I think, you know, it puts your sister in terms of uh, uh, centuries old criminals right at the top of the stack because I think she actually enjoys watching these kind of movies, particularly when it involves the torture of white Anglo-Saxon men or women. But maybe I'm exaggerating. So we got the situation from 1996 to 2002 when Willie Picton was arrested. My First Nations friends tell me that they think Probably a hundred women and children were killed out at the pig farm in snuff films. And since the pig farm or Piggy's Palace Good Time Society registered was registered as a federal society or charity by the Governor General's office, I believe the Governor General should have known and did know the purpose of this uh, charity or the society. So we now have David Johnson, Governor General of Canada, is a fellow special investor, CA special investor, with Walter Riston, the late Walter Riston, who put the leverage leases together for Donald Trump with Barack Obama, and a fellow uh, special investor with one um, uh, Alexander Haig. Do you remember what Alexander Haig was doing on 911 Field? Over to you. Yeah, I believe he was watching foreign films and eating Cheetos, and his urologist said, how come it's orange? But well, we don't have time for that. Uh, he was, uh, he was uh, speculating because uh, when somebody handed him a cue card that, uh, that said they had just flown some buildings, they flown some airplanes into buildings in New York, he said, aha, look, I don't want to speculate, but it looks like the work of bin Laden or the Palestinians. Am I close? Uh, you're absolutely, well, no, you're not quite right. He said the Palestinians or the bin Laden group, but I'll give you a couple of macro because I think I've got a couple of what, uh, ones here. What did I say? Well, you said uh, something different. I said, I think, and I'll have the chat room hold me accountable. I said, it looks like the work of bin Laden or the Palestinians. Oh, okay. Well, it's the Bin Laden group. And of the course it is. So and where, you were where, close. Where's the Bin Laden group's airport in England? Well, it's where you were with Denise. Yeah, but you're avoiding answering the question. You're accusing me of not knowing my ass from third base 
and I gave you an opportunity to say Bryce Norton, but you didn't say it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, one mackerel back to you. Then. No, I'll take two mackerel and a tin of sardines and heavy oil. Okay. Well, that's, uh, you know, this is really very encouraging. Okay. Over to you. Okay. So, um, McConnell alleges that Marcy used a federally registered license from Canadian Governor General and CAI Special Investor David Johnston to operate the Piggy Palace Good Time Society as a snuff film production studio at the BC Pig Farm, where ICE actors were outside the reach of FBI RICO investigators. So maybe some people think this is far-fetched, Phil, but <clears throat> let's get a little uh, closer to the the nub of the matter. Do you know what a nub is, Phil? Yeah, a lot of uh, times over in uh, the United Kingdom, there's private police that go to throw somebody out of their home. It's called an eviction, and those knobs go there to make sure the banks, uh, you know, get a hold of the property so they can increase the revenue at the same time rendering the previous uh, resident of the home. For instance, Tom Crawford. Uh, I think you know that I went to Nottingham back in May of uh, 2015 and uh, watch how fast somebody puts up the Walton Hotel uh, and I stayed at the Walton Hotel in uh, May of 2015 and there's some really good pictures that were taken there. Uh, there's a picture of me sitting in front of a very nice piece of furniture and I'm wearing, I think I'm wearing an Able Danger t-shirt, an open other shirt, and maybe even a blue blazer. I'll go find the picture myself if someone else doesn't put it up. But David, did I get the question right or did you not give me a question? Uh, probably both, Phil. Um, moving on, eh? Well, we didn't look at the chat room. Somebody yes, just, oh, oh, okay, yeah. what, what did you see that I was going to about to mention? Um, let's see. Republics are created by virtue. No. Oh, uh, sardines. No, no, no. The, there's a Freemason who just got caught waiting for a 14-year-old boy to skewer. That's S-K-E-W-E-R. So, uh, anyway, you go back to being smart or faking it, and I'll, uh, oh, there's the Walton Hotel from Gobsmack. Gobsmack, if I ever go up to Nottingham again, and we have a reservation, at the Nottingham uh, Walton Hotel, somebody should put up their website. It's there's a suite. It's actually an apartment across the street from the hotel that they rent out. I'm going to go find the picture, David. Uh, why don't you go ahead and do some of that cheesy dribble while I get a picture from my past? Okay, so we're talking about Christine Marcy and the development of a live broadcast uh, snuff film service at a pig farm in uh, British Columbia where she could send her um, ICE uh, people, Immigration Customs and Enforcement, uh, to be trained by Serco it, at simulated crime scenes. So the great majority of people participating in that exercise would believe that this was a simulation and it would allow them to recognize, I don't know, child pornography confiscated at the border and prevent uh, aliens from 